Hi, David here to tell you why pH balance is so important to your health. I actually think it is one of the most important contributors to your health or lack of health if you're not in balance. I know that may seem like a stretch, but just hear me out. Let's say you had a garden, and in the garden were weeds and garbage, and on top of that, you were watering it with sewer water. Well, obviously, your garden wouldn't grow well, and on top of that, you'd have a whole ton of critters showing up, um, feeding on the garbage, and munching your garden. I mean, environment is a key to whether or not something can grow and thrive, right? I mean, would you rather be a fish in, in a nice clean stream or one in a stagnant pond? Well, it's no different in your body. Your internal environment really is going to dictate whether the fluids in your body, whether the 150 trillion cells in your body, whether they thrive or whether they don't thrive. Now, the main factor in determining whether or not an environment is going to be clean or dirty is pH. Let's take for a fish tank, for example. You have a tank. There are fish in there. They're eating. Then they create waste, nitrogen waste. They're also breathing. And as they respirate, they create CO2. As that builds up, the pH drops. CO2 is acidic. Well, if you don't correct the pH, not only are you going to get an algae bloom, but you're going to get a bunch of sick fish. Now, most people will tell you if you have a sick fish, the first thing you're going to want to change is the water, the environment, the pH. pH is the seed to either a healthy environment or an unhealthy, toxic environment. Now the exact same principle holds true in your body. pH must be regulated. Now maybe you've heard that the pH of your blood, which is the most important fluid in your body, the pH of it doesn't change much. And that's actually true. But some people will go further and say, well, then the pH of your body doesn't change. And that's not true. The pH of your blood must be regulated between about 7.3 and 7.4. If it moved out of that range, you would not be alive. Well, the only way then your body can deal with XX acid is to store it, to move it away from the bloodstream. Like any other waste, Acids must be neutralized and then disposed of through your bloodstream in order to be carried out eventually through your colon or your kidneys. That's how you eliminate waste. Well, if you have so much acid that you can't buffer it and you can't neutralize it and dispose of it properly, um, you can't just dump these acids into the blood, which must be narrowly controlled. So your body has a mechanism to deal with that. It's called storing it. It'll store it in fluids. It'll store it in tissues and fatty tissues. It'll store it wherever it can in order to keep the blood pH where it optimally needs to be. A good example of this would be gout. Gout in your toe is acid in your toe. And because the excess uric acid cannot be disposed of properly, your body just pushes it into your feet, into your toes. Now, it may hurt a lot, but at least your body isn't attempting to dump a lot of acid into your bloodstream, which can't handle it. So while it may hurt, at least you're alive. The result of acids building up in your body are numerous. Weight gain, um, digestive problems, heartburn, reflux, fatigue, joint problems, bone loss, um, tiredness, sluggishness, skin problems, all of these complications that occur in your health really have one common root and that is acid. So you want to get your body back into a state of balance, of pH balance. And the way you do that, first of all, is to find out where your pH is. So use our pH test strips, find out where you're at. If you're very acidic, you're going to want to clean out your whole body with our ionic colon cleanse with our whole body detox. From there, you're going to want to super hydrate your body using our pH ion booster. You're going to want to replenish your mineral reserves with our pH ion alkalizing mineral complex. You're going to want to start changing your diet, supplementing with green foods like our pH ion green superfood. Um, you're going to want to eat more alkalizing foods and less acidifying foods. You can get a free copy of our Acid Alkaline Food Guide and Recipe Report. It's at our site, PHI Balance. It tells you which foods are acid forming, which foods are alkaline forming, which ones to eat, which ones to avoid. There are 40 recipes in there that taste awesome. 
um, coupons. It's a great deal. It's free. What the heck? Get that. Start to learn about what things impact your pH and bring it down. Reverse it. Reverse the acid cycle. Get your body back into a state of balance. When you do, you're going to now have the environment for all of these 150 trillion cells to finally be able to work. Your body weight's going to normalize. You're going to lose the fatigue. You're going to wake up. You're not going to be thinking so dull. You're going to have vibrant skin and a healthy glow. And when you get in the balance, your quality of life is going to go through the roof because your quality of health is going to improve. If you don't have health, nothing else matters. So I encourage you to get into balance and to experience a quality of health that's just unsurpassable.